Okay, that's better. Now we're on. Okay. Again, welcome. And uh, from Indiana, how many people have uh, have heard Pastor Paul Begley? If you're here, you've heard. Okay, Paul, you've got a few friends here. Yeah. Okay, so all the way from Indiana, we have uh, Pastor Paul Begley. He's going to open in prayer, and then we're going to have the... Uh, uh, the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Paul's going to address us again. So, would you, uh, you want to rise or sit down? Uh, no, let's rise. Yeah, okay. Pastor Paul. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight, this privilege to be gathered here with these great Americans and to give honor, Lord, to you for blessing our country. For giving us a nation, Lord, that we have the freedom to worship, the freedom to live and to work and to be a part of a community of folks, Lord, that truly appreciate the red, white, and blue. We thank you, Lord, for President Donald Trump and for his wife, Melania, and their family, Vice President Mike Pence and his wife, Karen, and their family. We thank you, God, for their leadership that President Trump has brought to America. God. You blessed him. You put your hand upon him. Without a question, he is the man for God for our, this very hour. And we thank you for that. So, Lord, we ask that you bless this gathering here today. Bless the president of this organization, David G. And bless all of those that have gathered here, all the staff, all the members, everyone that works so hard together. And we thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life on the cross to set men for free from sin. And we'll never fail to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory in Jesus' name. The people said, Amen. Amen. Hey, Bishop, lead us, please. <coughs> and pledge allegiance. Virginia, and I'm kind of proud of it. Let me tell you why I'm proud of it. Yeah, I'm out there. West Virginia just happens to be the number one most popular state of, for President Trump, with over 70% approval rating in that state, and I'm very proud of that. Now, what state do you think, yeah, yeah, what state do you think maybe is the uh, number one state for not supporting the president? I've heard California. New York. New York. Uh, you know, according to a recent Gallup poll right after his uh, speech, it's actually Vermont. And less than 30% of the people in Vermont really support President Donald Trump. So, anyway, if you're here for Vermont, we still love you. Okay. Is that a state? Uh, okay, just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started, and then I want to have uh, Pastor Paul Bagley come back up and just uh, greet you again. But how many people maybe are here for the very first time? Can I see? Whoa! How? Welcome! Welcome to the Fight Club. We feel that energy, and thank you so very, very much. And the other thing that we do, we've got a choice about keeping the rooms open for just villagers, or we can pay a little fee, and we can have folks from outside of the villages come here. So just to help us uh, keep track a little bit, we, if you live outside of the villages, can I just see your hand? If you live... Okay, enough said right there, and thank you all for coming, and again, welcome. You heard Pastor Paul Bagley uh, uh, pray over our meeting tonight, and again, Paul Bagley, uh, I've known Paul uh, through his uh, ministry on YouTube and other places, and he's uh, got over 210,000, big number, over 210,000 subscribers on YouTube, and uh, we're fortunate enough to have him come last year at our church, and we just started to... Uh, hold a couple night uh, meetings, and he's going to do it again this year. So, Paul, come and greet the people one more time, please. Uh, Pastor Paul Bagley, give him a good hand, please. Thank you, David. It's an honor to be here and uh, just to see all the smiling faces and great Americans. And uh, I just wonder, how many people do love America? All right. I mean, are you serious? 
You know, um, God has blessed this land. There's no question about it. But we have come to a point where America, what we knew as America, what we know as America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, was literally under threat. And if it weren't for, I believe this, if it weren't for the power of the prayer of God's people uh, came together, the Bible says, if my people are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I would hear from heaven, forgive the sin and heal the land. And I believe the Lord heard our prayer. Amen. We did more than just pray, though. We went out and voted. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But some folks would say, well, now that President Trump is in the White House, let's wait and see what he can do. Well, really, he's in the White House, but it's really up to what we can do. There's a time now that I've been saying this on my uh, television show and, and also on YouTube and all my uh, live shows. I've been saying God wants to raise up a standard. There are people throughout America that need to run for political office, for the mayor of their town, for Congress positions, le state legislative positions, school, school board positions. We need uh, strong, conservative, God-fearing people to take their position in this great nation and be accounted for. If we do it from the ground, from the grassroots, if we do it from... The, down, right on the floor, really, of the, and begin to lift up. This nation cannot be defeated. And I can tell you prophetically, some of the things that's been happening in the last year has been unbelievably, what the president has gone through and the things he's done are actually fulfilling biblical prophecy at an alarming rate. And uh, this weekend, we're going to be at the Freedom Fellowship Church. Uh, Pastor Melvin Whittington here. Stand up, Pastor. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We're going to be with him this uh, week, uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, Sunday morning. I'm going to be preaching a message tomorrow night. Reverse the curse for America. And 11 different times that when American presidents or Congress did something against Israel and voted either against them or made an executive order, how there was 11 different nat uh, natural disasters that happened to our nation each time. I will also show you what happens uh, on Saturday night. We're bringing a message called On the Wings of Eagles and the powerful prophetic blessing that's on America right now as we have turned back to God and to conservatism and uh, to just, you know what, just God for How many veterans we got here? Just check this out. Look at this. Give the Lord some praise. Amazing. Folks, I can see tonight also uh, Stephen Bendanoon is here from Israeli News Live. And he's actually, uh, are you live? <laughs> You're live right now? What? Right. He's actually broadcasting live right now all over the internet, all over the world. We're glad he's with us. Give the Lord some praise for him, all right? For a great treat, Roger Stone. I actually had the privilege to sit way in the back and listen to him give a speech during the Minson Convention. It was in Hollywood, Florida last year, and it's one of the most fascinating speeches I've ever heard anybody give. He's a great speaker, a great American, and so tonight when he comes, you're truly going to be blessed, no doubt about that. So, uh, again, tomorrow night over at Freedom Fellowship Church, I'll be speaking on Reverse the Curse, and Saturday night on the Wings of Eagles, and Sunday morning, America, take your stand. Yes. And I tell you, if there was ever a time we've got to take a stand, it's today. We've got to. No one's going to do it for us. Actually, I'm going to say this to... Do we have any Christians here? I'm just going to ask that question. All right, look at this. Check this out. Praise God. What, what the American church did uh, early in the early 70s was basically nothing. We did nothing. And what happened was we just thought that everything would take care of itself in this great land of opportunity because the greatest generation had already spilt their blood to drive back Adolf Hitler and his uh, uh, attempt to destroy Europe and the world. And while we sat on our hands and did nothing, the left-wing leaning liberals literally took over this nation. They destroyed our judicial system. They ruined our educational systems. They, got, they, they rewrote history. And then they decided they would take away our religious freedoms. 
And at some point, we finally woke up. Can you say amen? Amen. When we woke up when, when we actually let God take over in our lives. And we actually said, hey, we're going to start standing up for ourselves. And we begin to pray and motivate and organize like you folks are doing here. I don't know if anybody in, in America, David, is doing what you guys are doing. Not this early. No, there's no way. This, and let me just say this. I'm from Indiana. Mike Pence was our governor. We knew he was a God-fearing man. But when we saw Florida go for Trump, uh, I said, we're going to win this thing. I, I, we're going to win this thing. And then there went North Carolina and right on around Ohio and Michigan and Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. But it's a great feeling to be a part of a nation where there's freedom, where there's opportunity, where there's an economy that's exploding, where the taxes are finally going down. Can somebody say amen to that? And so truly tonight, I just want to say, Let's enjoy ourselves in the greatest opportunity in history, the United States of America, and lift up the president and pray for him. Amen. God bless all of you. Amen. And if you want more, come tomorrow night.